What I love about Coal Valley is the sense of community. I love the energetic enthusiasm of my students. I love that we are always striving for the best, never satisfied with the status quo, and that we're always trying to keep God at the center of everything. You can really see between the parents and the staff's relationship that we just all have the kids' best interest at heart. We see them as created without exception by God, as fearfully and wonderfully made. And I love the fact that I get to instill at such a young age the fact that there's only one God who knows them, He loves them, and He has a plan for them. And what school offers me the opportunity to be able to teach art from an academic standpoint and do it well, but also be able to just bluntly talk about where it came from. You know, I get to speak unabashedly about who God is and about creation and what, uh, and what that means. And I don't have to be careful. I don't have to hold back. This is who God is and this is how we reflect Him and His glory. When I was a teenager, I didn't think anybody cared about me or even knew that I existed. I, I truly didn't think anybody loved me. Moving forward with my life, I wanted to make sure that other teenagers didn't feel the same way. So as a teacher, I feel like my first job is to make sure that every student that comes into my classroom knows that they are loved and that they matter. The second thing is that I'm really passionate about the Bible. I teach Bible and history. And here at Cole Valley, all of our subjects are infused with the Bible. And I love watching them learn something new and get excited about it. And I especially love when they want to tell others about what they're learning. You can teach the Bible in your subjects. You can teach science how God intended it to be taught. We can see his handiwork. We can um, take breaks in class and, and, and preach the word to kids. And, we can meet with him at lunch to discuss biblical matters and, and take kids out to lunch and discuss Bible and life. Um, I teach at Cole Valley because my faith is not muzzled and that is important to me. I can talk about Jesus Christ and I am not worried about losing my job and I can talk about the hand of God in history and what the world sees as coincidences I see as the providence of God. I didn't start teaching at a Christian school. I started in public school and, and I was amazed at how hurting kids were attracted to the light of Christ. And I always felt shackled that I couldn't tell them why they were attracted to me. It's not me, it's the, it's, it's the love of Jesus that you're, that you're experiencing. I think the opportunity to walk alongside uh, kids as they seek the Lord and learn to seek the Lord matters a ton. I, I think it, it's a, it's a picture of the church, uh, of the way it's supposed to be, that you're supposed to come and walk alongside people who are following Jesus. That's what discipleship is, is follow me as I follow Jesus, and I get to do that uh, every day. I interviewed, went through the process, and uh, saw that it would be a good battle where I could engage hearts and minds not only in mathematics, but we could open God's Word. We could pray together. Basically, I wouldn't have to shelter students from the truth. There wouldn't be taboo subjects. We could talk about everything from God's point of view. I want to shepherd and challenge students uh, in mathematics because I think it develops their thinking. I want them to have the skills and the processes, but I also want them to see the beauty in mathematics and Students are going to go into the world with real skills and be planted by God all over the place, spread to the winds, uh, but hopefully for the glory of God, that they take those skills and they use them to, to know Christ themselves with their head and their heart, but also to share Christ, that they'll be the hands and feet of Jesus to our broken world. And a lot of times they need a skill set for to be able to work in this world. Maybe someone will ask them for the hope that they have and they can give an account of the hope they have in Christ with gentleness and respect. And if we can help them here, if we can be a springboard, a platform, stepping stones for them, 
for God to use that he can plant them. That's the hope and the dream. We're trying to be means <laughs> to uh, an eternal end.